Howdy folks, I'm Tim and today we're going to talk about protecting yourself against those pesky email scams and malware. Now in the first section we're going to learn how to identify the different types of scam and malware emails. So grab your notebook and let's get started. Now one of the most common tricks scammers use is impersonation. They pretend to be someone or something you trust. Let's look at some examples. Shipping company scams. These emails claim to be from a well-known shipping company, informing you about missed package delivery or asking for additional shipping fees. Always double check the tracking number directly on the official website. Service provider scams. Scammers may pose as your internet service provider, utility company, or even your streaming service, claiming your account is suspended or needs verification. Contact your service provider directly to confirm any issues. Emergency scams. These emails play on your emotions, claiming a loved one is in trouble and urgently needs money. Always verify the situation through a phone call before taking any action. Interesting news headline scams. Some emails might grab your attention with intriguing news headlines enticing you to click on malicious links. Always verify the source of news through reputable websites. These are just a few examples of how scammers try to manipulate you but there are common signs to watch out for in most scam emails. Poor grammar and spelling mistakes. Request for personal information. Urgent or threatening language. Suspicious links or attachments. Unknown senders or email addresses. Well, there you have it, folks. The first step in protecting yourself against email scams and malware is knowing how to identify them. Now we're going to dive into the motivations behind those email scams and malware attacks. So let's get to it. These cyber criminals have various goals and they'll stop at nothing to achieve them. Here are some of the most common objectives. Personal information. Scammers want your personal details like your name, address, date of birth, and social security number. Armed with this information, they can commit identity theft, open fraud accounts, and sell your data on the dark web. Account numbers. Hackers aim to obtain your bank account or credit card numbers. Once they have access, they can drain your funds, make unauthorized purchases, or even sell your financial information to others. Credit card numbers. If a scammer gets a hold of your credit card details, they can run up charges in your name, leaving you to deal with a mess. Always be cautious when providing your credit card information online. Passwords. Passwords are like keys to your online kingdom. Scammers attempt to steal them to gain unauthorized access to your accounts where they can cause significant damage. Ransom payments. Some malware like ransomware encrypts your files making them inaccessible. The hackers can then demand a ransom payment to unlock your data. Paying the ransom is risky and not guaranteed to get your files back. So now you know what these sneaky individuals are after, but why do they want this information? Well, the motivations can vary. Financial gain. Money is a primary motivator for scammers. By stealing your personal information and financial data, they can make illicit profits at your expense. Identity theft. Your identity is valuable and scammers can use it to commit crimes in your name, damaging your reputation and financial standing. Cyber espionage. Some hackers work on behalf of a larger criminal organization or even nation states, seeking to steal sensitive information from governments, corporations, or individuals. Malicious intent. In some cases, hackers may not have a specific goal other than causing chaos and disruption for their own pleasure or damage a person or organization they dislike. Instead of taking the risk, here's what you should do. Delete it. If you receive an email from an unknown sender or it looks even remotely suspicious, don't hesitate. Hit the delete button. Removing the email from your inbox is the safest option. 
Avoid downloading attachments. Be cautious with email attachments, especially if they are unexpected or from an unknown source. Malware can easily hide within those files. Avoid responding. Never reply to a suspected scam email. Responding could alert the sender that your email address is active, leading to more spam. Don't click on links. As tempting as it may be to investigate further, refrain from clicking on any links within the email. If you're unsure of the email's validity, go directly to the official website, the supposed company or organization. If you realize that you might have fallen into the scammer's trap, don't panic. Here's what you need to do. Disconnect from the internet. The first thing you should do is disconnect your computer or device from the internet. This will help prevent further communication with the malicious servers and minimize potential damage. Just like turning off the water valve to stop a leak, disconnecting from the internet can stop the malware from spreading. Scan your device for malware. Use a reputable antivirus or anti-malware software to perform a thorough scan of your device. This will help identify and remove any malicious files or programs that might have been downloaded. Change your passwords. If you're concerned that your login credentials may have been compromised, change your passwords for all of your online accounts immediately. Ensure that you create strong, unique passwords for each account. Monitor financial accounts. Keep a close eye on the financial accounts for any unauthorized transactions. If you notice anything suspicious, contact your bank or credit card company immediately to report the issue. Alert the company or organization. If the suspicious email claimed to be from a particular company or organization, notify them about the incident. This way, they can take appropriate measures and warn other customers if necessary. Update your software. Make sure your operating system applications, antivirus software, are up to date. Keeping your software current can help protect you from known vulnerabilities. Taking prompt action or getting a qualified person is vital when dealing with a potential malware threats. Just like wearing safety gear while handling dangerous materials, these steps will shield you from further harm. Now it's crucial to take proactive steps to safeguard yourself and your sensitive information. Here are some tips. Stay informed. Keep yourself updated about the latest scams and hacking techniques through reputable sources. Enable multi-factor authentication, MFA. MFA adds an extra layer of security by requiring a second form of identification beyond a password, like a fingerprint or a code sent to you on your phone. Be wary of suspicious links. Avoid clicking on links from unknown senders or those that seem too good to be true. Use strong passwords. Create unique, complex passwords for each of your accounts and consider using a password manager to keep track of them. Regularly update software. Keep your operating system, antivirus, and applications up to date to protect against known vulnerabilities. Armed with knowledge and taking these precautions, you can fend off those cyber predators and keep your data safe. Cyber criminals are crafty and they'll try to exploit your curiosity and emotions to trick you. But by staying informed and following these guidelines, you can keep yourself safe in the digital landscape. Now remember, we all make mistakes, but learning from them is what makes us stronger. And remember, if it's too good to be true, be cautious and don't let someone scare you into reacting poorly. Well, folks, that's a wrap on our guide. I hope you found this information helpful and that you feel better equipped to navigate the digital world safely.